Glenn Morgan, if you don't know him, is an absolutely gorgeous man. He's just like heart and soul, beautiful. He and Chris Carter are to me, and I've said it publicly innumerable times, they are the magic men. And I really mean that. Like there's a lot of people in the business who are, you know, I mean, they're like you work with some cool folks, but then you work with some truly magical people. And to me, they are both the magic men. So anyway, somewhere along the way, and Glenn's got a great sense of humor, and um, at one point, probably a couple of years ago, and Glenn said, well, like, what else would you like to play? And I said, well, I've always wanted to play a man. Um, and I would like to also play, um, like, a, uh, have a puppet. Um, so, <laughs> kind of left that with him, and then season 10 of The X-Files came along, and there was, nothing came along that was quite right for me. I auditioned for several things, but, you know, none of them were men or anything. And then as we you know, they got to season 11, I can't remember when it was, I think they'd already started filming season 11 when, um, uh, I, I, I guess Glenn must have talked to Chris, but suddenly out of the blue, that we had an availability check, um, which is like, you know, jumping right past auditions and stuff. And, and, um, and then one day I got sent over this eight, eight pages of sides. And, um, and I looked at this and went like, are you kidding me? This is not just a man, this is like, this is any actor's dream, right? This to like a male and a female and double personality. This is, this is exquisite. This is like fantastic. And I'll add to that, that in the interim, having played Maurice the Orangutan in the Planet of the Apes films, which is some of the hardest work I've ever done in my life as an actor. And I, I still don't think to this day that people actually get what performance capture is, which is it is all on the actor to come up with this whole performance. And um, so I'd been invisible inside this work that was the hardest work I'd ever done. And, so, and I say that because I'll revisit that in a few minutes. So then here comes these eight pages aside, two pages for each of nice little Judy, nasty Judy, nice Chucky and nasty Chucky. And I was blown away and it was beyond my wildest dreams in terms of the gift that Chris had written this for me. And so, because obviously Glenn had told them she wants to play a man. And, um, <laughs> And he wrote me this, I mean, can you imagine? Like, as in, you go like, are you kidding? This is glorious. So um, to the people who had asked about my process into this, it was instantly with those eight pages of sides, with two pages a scene for each sides of the character. And what I did was I went, all right, how am I going to like anchor this in my, in my soul, my body? so that I can go boom, 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 like switch from one side to the, e I, didn't, I didn't think we'd probably be filming like Judy, Judy and Chucky, Chucky all in one day because it would be different locations. But I did think um, I've got to be able to never get confused and just go, okay, how do I go boom, boom, boom. So this is what I did for the, for the several people who asked earlier. Um, in the living room of our apartment, I just stood there. The first thing I did, because I always start from the script, is I memori memorize those eight pages cold, like every word for word, just memorize it cold, understanding the story of each scene, of, of, and they were short scenes, but just to understand this, the story of the scene and basically start to get a sense of the character from that. And then I went back and once the words were just flowing, 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 and I could just like do them by rote. And I only had, I guess I had two days to prepare the audition tape. So I did that first in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I came back and standing in my living room, I went, all right, how am I going to find energetically each side of Duty and Duty and Chucky and Chucky? And I thought, okay, well, we've got the words now. So that's in there. And I started, I think I started with nice little Judy and I literally just came in and I thought, well, how does she enter the world? Like, what is what is her approach to the world? Is she, you know? And nice little Judy is terrified of the world, right? And especially terrified of the other side of herself. So I thought, where can how can I find that in my body? And the way I found it was literally to go, what part of my body does like little Judy lead from, like in approaching the world? And I found that as I was working with the script, that she probably leads slightly from the left shoulder so that everything with little Judy would, because she, you know, she just can't quite, she could never face anything quite head on. And as I started to work with that, then her voice kind of came with that because someone who's trying to sneak, you know, slowly into the world and is especially afraid of the other Judy who's back in that corner over there, then it just, everything just sort of goes up into your body, right? Where you just go like everything's sort of a quiver. So 
that's how I found nice little Judy. And then when it came to nasty Judy, who pretty much is like, come on and take me, everybody wants me. So the boy, it, it just felt like a full on, you know, like here from the chest, from the cleavage, let's, you know, let me show you that. Yeah, you know you want me. Um, and so then I started to just switch between nice little Judy was afraid of that horrible person over there and nasty Judy's like, yeah, yeah, come on, you want me. Mulder, you want me. You're gonna like, yeah, forget Scully. It's, you know, you want Judy, come on. So that literally got it into my body there and then I went over to Chucky and Chucky was just like, I mean, he's such a sour, sour, sour guy, right? And um, what was, I must say that in, in general with Chucky, um, as a woman and as a female actor, to play um, evil women is, it's really fun, but also evil women characters are generally just perceived as, they're bitches, right? Like they're just like, you know, that's, that's sort of it. However, I can say this as a female actor getting to play a man, that as soon as you play a man who's, not very nice, he's just an asshole, right? Like, he's just like, right? Like, nobody, nobody, there, there's, there's less of a judgment call on a guy who behaves like that. If a woman behaved like that, you'd go, ooh, that's a bitch. But with a man, you say, oh, whatever, he's an asshole. And so Chucky, as I felt sort of Chucky, um, there's only the one relaxed scene in the episode where later on when Mulder comes back, and um, Chucky's sort of, you know, he's kind of in a good mood and you know, sort of whatever, he's just sort of like, yeah, I'm fine today and you know, whatever. <laughs> and so I sort of felt, I found that nice Chucky first, which it sort of felt to me like a kind of a sitting back and a full on belly lead. We had a little bit of padding on me, but not very much. So I sort of found nice Chucky and Chucky's just like, you know, I'm just hanging out here and there's a guy at my door and whatever, you know. And but could, so I could really feel his energy from there. And then when it came to nasty Chucky, which is of course where we meet him, um, and he's just like, he hates the world. He just, and that, I, I, I mostly felt it like literally from um, my, the, the left side of my forehead. So when he's at the door, he's just like, what, what are you, and I can't even <coughs> make myself cough if I go too much into nasty Chucky right now. But anyways, it was just, I felt like it was like, I was shooting from the left eye, like shooting daggers <coughs> at David Duchovny or Mulder. Yeah, it was just, whenever I jump into nasty Chucky too quickly, I'm gonna have to sip, sip, sip a sip of water. <laughs> anyway, so basically, um, that's the um, short form version of my process in finding the two sides of Judy and the two sides of Chucky. And, um, and then I basically pop quizzed myself and I could literally, so I could go from nice Judy to nasty Judy to Chucky to nasty Chucky. And I would just shoot between the four of them so that by the time I actually did the taping for the audition, <laughs> It was um, completely in my body, in my everything. I did the makeup things too. <clears throat> so um, my audition, and I think some of the, the pictures I took of myself and sent to them for the, before I did the audition taping, um, they're, I think they're online in various places. And literally, it was really easy. And we based the makeup for Chucky and stuff just on what I did, like what Bill Terrazakis did brilliantly he even did less than I thought he would, is um, obviously with, with, uh, with, night, with Judy, with nice Judy, she was all pinned up to here and everything. With nasty Judy, I actually stuffed some socks in my bra and we just opened up the cleavage, right? And did makeup stuff. And with Chucky, um, all I did was, I got hair gel, I greased my hair flat back, uh, eyebrow pencil, eyebrows, eyebrows, bought a $5 mustache at Bizarro Novelty, glued that on. What was beautiful about this, revisiting what I was saying about Maurice, is when I did this episode, and it was such fun, it's like the most fun thing I've ever done. It was easy, it was falling off a log. I could play Chucky for days. I wish Chucky had a series, I'm not joking. I would happily play Chucky in a series. Give him some crazy little emporium of crappy stuff and send him to the bar on Tuesday nights to sing karaoke and you know, get into political arguments and or whatever, you know what I mean? Like. I could just, I could go extempore as Chucky forever. But anyway, it was so easy to do. And here is the kicker. I'd done three movies as Maurice in the Planet of the Apes films, the hardest work I've ever done in my life. Um, a lot of people didn't even think I did it. Felt that I sort of did a few movements for it, whatever. 
Then I come and I play Chucky and Judy, and I thought, okay, well, what's, here's the gift of me doing something with no makeup on my face almost. It's all acting. The kicker was is that after it aired and nobody thought I was Chucky, <laughs> which killed me. I was like, no, you've got to be kidding. Come on. But there's no makeup. There's a mustache and sideburns. It's me. Can't you tell? There were critics who didn't know I was playing Chucky. And I remember emailing Chris at the time and going, it was such a nice gift, but no, but how can I? It's my face, it's my eyes, there's no makeup. So it was amazing. It's like, so I, so I still can't get acknowledged for the work that I did. People are gonna think it was me. Whether it's performance capture or no makeup, they still don't think it's me. So anyways, it was just sort of one of those things where you go, all right, I give in. All right, fine. Then that's, I just have to enjoy being a chameleon and loving it. Um, this was a glory. It was just such fun to do this episode. I absolutely adored it. Um, I've been working with Kevin Hooks and, and I love doing, especially doing the scenes with David Duchovny. Uh, he's got such a wicked twinkle in his eye and it was just a delight. And he would constantly try to crack me up and nearly succeeded many times. <laughs> Um, it was just a joy. So anyway, that's the quick version of my process with Chucky and Judy. Um, you can ask as many questions as you like after the screening, but for, for the people who had asked, uh, who had come to meet me earlier, just to give you a sense of that, that's what it is. And um, for all those of you who are heading off on airplanes by 5 p.m., the folks heading back to Britain, the X-Cast team and all, it was so nice to hang with you guys and everything. And, and um, it's been wonderful to meet with you, everybody all day, but I'll, we'll talk more after the screening. And, uh, and safe travels to those of you who have to take off by 5 o'clock. Um, what a joy this is to be here for this. So anyways, we'll see the screening and talk to you later.